Kids message. On this Sunday of Advent, we're going to be talking about Mary, Jesus' mom. And we're going to be talking about how she was visited by an angel named Gabriel sent right from heaven with an explosive message for Mary. This message was life-changing for her, well, and actually for all of us. We're going to go outside and do it, though, because I don't want to make a mess in here. So I'll meet you outside. All right, here we are outside. Now, to demonstrate just how crazy and explosive this message was for Mary, we're going to use this soda bottle here. So here, Mary, I'm going to put on my little goggles just in case. Here Mary is, just an ordinary Jewish girl one day, an angel comes down and gives her this amazing message that she's been chosen by God to be Jesus' mother. And check out what happens. Whoa! Oh my goodness! It's an explosive message! Her life was going to change forever, and so was ours. Let's go back inside and talk about that. Whoa, that was pretty cool, right? I love experiments like that. But can you imagine being Mary? You're just sitting there one day, just this normal, average Jewish girl, and boom, you get a visit from Gabriel, an angel straight from heaven, to tell you that you are going to be the mother of Jesus. I'd like to read that for you right out of the Bible so you can hear what it says. That story is found in Luke 1, and it starts on chapter 26. I'm just going to read for you because I want you to know that in the Bible are all kinds of cool stories, and this is one of them. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, Elizabeth is Mary's cousin. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee. Gabriel went to a woman who had never been with a man. Her name was Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, You are honored very much. You are a favored woman. The Lord is with you. You are chosen among many women. Well, Mary was a little confused and troubled when she heard this, and she tried to think about what the angel could possibly mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You see, you will become a mother and have a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestors David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never, ever end. Mary asked the angel, But how can this happen? I've never been with a man. The angel replied, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will cover you. So the baby will be born holy, and he will be called the Son of God. You see, your cousin Elizabeth, as old as she is, she was really, really old. Mary wasn't old. She was just like an older teenager, but, Mary, but Elizabeth was really, really old. She's, Elizabeth is also going to give birth to a child. She was not able to have any children before, but now she is six months pregnant. For God can do all things. Nothing is impossible with God. Then Mary said, I am willing to be used for the Lord. Let it happen to me just as you have said. Let it all come true. And then the angel left her. Can you imagine what an explosive message that must have been and how her life just changed forever in that moment? I mean, man, I, I can't even imagine how confusing that must have been. First of all, there's an angel in your room. That would be a little crazy. And then to be told that you are going to be Jesus' mother. Amazing. But you know what? God is amazing. And the angel calmed Mary 
and said, with God, all things are possible. And that's the promise that Mary clung to and said, yes, let it be. I will do it. You know what? God has great things for us too. So many different opportunities in our life where we can do things that God asks us to do. And we need to cling to the promise that, you know what? It might be hard and it might be difficult, but if God wants to us to do it, it's worth it. And he promises us he'll stay with us, he'll guide us, and nothing is impossible for God. So think about this week as you're going about your day and about your week and as, as you prepare for Christmas. Think about Mary and how she accepted that crazy explosive message from Gabriel the angel and said, I will do what you ask me to do. Have a great week. See you next week. Bye.